back at it today, your boy, making some progress, cutting some tubes, going vertical. I got this one where I want it. Um, JT came and looked at this and made a, a pretty good point. Uh, he said, why don't you end this in the middle? So that way the next tube is supported by this vertical base as well. It'd be stronger that way. Um, and that's a good point. But the reason why I'm not doing that uh, is if you look down like such, these two are straight together. This is all straight. And the bend starts here. So this is going to be skinned with aluminum on the outside, and this will be a nice straight bend right here. If I put the this tube that's angled over here in the middle, it'll stick out a little bit, and it'll also give me a, a weird little hump bend spot right there, so that won't really work. Um, it would be stronger, but there's also going to be a couple of uh, braces, at least one, probably two we'll see and uh yeah it should work pretty good so right now i'm working on this tube for the other side while i still have this angle set up in my cut uh and it's done i love this uh bandsaw it's cheap but it works well i just put it in there let it eat through it and i go do something else Woo! This one's been shortened. It matches this one better. Looks good. Tacked together. This side as well. So next I'm going to do from here to here. Tube number O. That's this guy. 42 inches. Lots of cutting and lots of waiting. Yay! Race car, race car, race car! Give the plum bob a try. A try ski. What do you think? You think it'll work? Alright, I gotta extend something out so I could do this.
not bad. Still just a little bit off. Those guys are tacked in there, starting to look almost like a car. I'm gonna do these guys next. Boop, boop. Actually, this top one here is all one piece. I didn't realize that. It goes from here all the way to there, all one piece. So, J1 and J2. Top, front, side rail. 80 degrees on one side, 100 degrees on the other. That's the same, that's the same cut. You just flip it over. This is what I've been doing. Works pretty well. I set my little angle finder to 80 degrees. Loosen these two. And then I actually line it up with the edge of this. Because the way this is set up, it just happened to be perfectly straight with my blade. So I don't have to bring this thing down and try to line it up with the blade, which is kind of hard to do. This actually worked out pretty good. The cuts are real, real good doing it this way. You kind of have to get it real close and eyeball it. And you take your 14 inch wrench, I don't know, it could be standard. I don't have any standards on me, so 14 works. You tighten these two. Definitely not as easy as a, a proper bandsaw, but works pretty good takes just a minute longer or so it's not that bad let's cut man that looks cool doesn't it so I cut that long tube and notice the gap it should be touching right there there's a gap so in order to figure out why I obviously I double measured this thing that one's good and then I threw a plumb bob on here Measured, it's supposed to be in the book, says from the edge of this to that, it's supposed to be three inches. So I made a line from the front, line from the back, back and then I measured three inches off of that. And you look, I'm about four millimeter off. And up here, with my little clear ruler, it's hard to line it up. I'm about six and a half millimeters off so part of that that couple millimeter difference is this tube's twisted so i can try and straighten that out and then maybe try and lean this thing back some more um, before i do that though i'm going to cut this other tube on the other side to see how far it is off on that side but it looks like my jig didn't work very well i'm off four millimeters i mean i guess it's close i might be able to just tweak it like squeeze it together or like uh break those front tacks and kind of put some pressure on it and lean it back a little bit. That actually might make this top one more level too. I push it back. It fits great back here. This one's a little off too. This tube didn't get tacked on perfectly in line with this one. It got twisted a little bit. So I'm twisted a little here. I'll try to bring that back into square. I have to cut those tacks off though.
Here we go. It's a little low. Dang. on stuff that's not tacked together, bud. Eee. So it looks like it's not my front end. This is supposed to be 13 inches. I'm a good eighth, eighth inch high. Maybe even a little more. Almost 3 16 What's that, a 32nd? My stupid fractions. Um, yeah, for some reason, it's high. Back here, I'm real close to 13. I'm saying, I mean, it's almost dead nuts. What happened? It, like, raises up over here. It's weird. I don't know, maybe what I could do is I could trim this guy down just a little bit. Kind of try and bring this thing down, because I could just tack it back here. And then kind of just squeeze it. Um, but that'll give me a little bit of a bow right here. Don't know if I want that. I did it again! Uh, ah, that thing's on balance. Holy crap. Holy crap. Don't knock the camera off of thing. That's a good bit better. Not perfect. Do a little more maybe. I did this side first and I'm pretty good. I think it's real close. I could probably just squeeze that together. That's much better. I'm only like a sixteenth off now. I could probably squeeze that down sixteenth of an inch. Shouldn't be a problem. Score! Man, it's starting to look like a car. Ooh, I'm excited. Yep. Cool. Let's tack it. I'm using a tool to tighten this. And, uh, a lot of times in the grinder you don't need the tool. You just tighten it by hand, you can loosen it by hand. For some reason, this Harbor Freight one, I can't do that. I, it comes loose, and once I do get it tight, I can't get it. I'm just, so I have to use the tool. So if you're gonna say in the comments, why don't you just use it by hand? Because it, it actually tightens when you use it. The way it spins. That's why.
William a little bit off. You guys see that? Can you see it? It helps if you if you close one eye. Can you do it? Can you see it? Yeah. All right. Sorry, I haven't been updating, but uh, you know how it goes. Measure, cut tube, file, put in place, tack weld. Um, it's kind of boring. But the outcome isn't boring. I got this tube cut, kind of just held in with magnets. This one's cut and tacked in. Uh, I think that was really all I've been doing so far. I had a friend stop by who had been chatting. But this guy is a really aggressive, really aggressive angle. I almost couldn't cut it. Almost couldn't cut it in the bandsaw. But I, I got it. 34.2 degrees and 45.8 degrees these two are. Came out pretty good. It's right in the center. There's going to be another one over here to meet it. Pretty happy about that. So, yeah, that's it. Back at it again tomorrow. And thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. You want to see more of this cool project. You want to follow through till it's in. It might be a while. Um, I only work on it a couple days a week. But um, definitely uh, I'm going to finish it. Keep pushing through. I think I can. I think I can. And... Uh, you know, maybe you'll see uh, in some meats or something someday. Anyway, have a good one. Oh, look how cute you are. Bye-bye, Dustin. Bye-bye.